We're here with David. We're on his little property. Well, actually, big property. And right in front of us is an egg fruit that he grew from seed. Tell us, tell us the history about how you got the seed. And yeah, I got the seed from a customer of mine. Um, golly, I think it was about five, six years ago, and I started them from seed. Uh, and they germinated pretty quick. Um, and probably within the first year and a half, two years, it started producing fruit. Wow. This one's a little, um, the fruit on this one is a little bit larger um, than the others. Yeah, much bigger the other it two. is. And that's a nice but, size. That's uh, the size that everyone wants. Yeah. The yeah. one over here, that uh, finished about a, I think there may be one or two left on it still. But and the, is it the same? Still, is that the yeah, same one the from same, the same? From the, yeah, it's the same seed from the same Like fruit? Tree. Wow. Yeah. But that fruit's smaller than this one. And this one out of the, I think you have four on the property? uh or five three, three. three so out of the three these this one made the biggest yeah this fruit is the on largest it. the one on the other side actually has more fruit um but it's you know it's a little bit smaller oh and you said this tree is now five years old it's about five or six about five yeah. six yeah. and then you said it started fruiting in three years yeah within three years that yes. is amazing because a lot of times you grow stuff from seed and they don't even doesn't even make any fruit mm-hmm was the lady surprised when you told her when she gave you the no, seeds? No, she said it, she started hers um, from seed, and I think she got them. Uh, she worked over at Fairchild Tropical Gardens. Whether she got them from there, she knew somebody that had them. But, and it, uh, well, I can't wait to try them whenever they get ripe enough. What about your white sapote? Was it that was that was already here, bought, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that was here when we bought the. Uh, and that property. one is large and it produces every year but the, it's a smaller fruit yeah i just actually picked some up from the nursery the mm -hmm. the youngin and then one redland i'm gonna try growing one on the property and then try to get some more mm -hmm. you see this is just beginning to set the know, fruit it's got it they're pretty so when do you think these will be ready david probably around march they're about that's not bad. That's like really March, fast. April. And then the fruit stay on there for a while, or it, it, it does. They don't have a very long shelf life, so you, know, you, you got to eat them when they're they falling yeah, off. You find them as they, uh... We'll go look at the the avocado. Can anybody guess what this is? The back of what this is? This is an avocado that has fell, and it's still growing. And you can see where it's putting off new limbs this way. It almost looks like it's coming behind where the roots are at. Yeah, it's actually branching. It's actually balanced through. itself yeah. out. Wow. And and David, you said about looks like 90% showing of the root ball. And you can see where the limbs have come up from the top. It's starting to balance itself back out. And you said this happened two years ago. Right, about two years. In ago. the hurricane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the. Uh... That's the back of. That's the root ball. And here's the. It's a beautiful avocado tree. You can see how fat it was. Yes. Wait till you see the avocados on it. Yeah, it's coming to the end, but um, there's still quite a few on there. And there's some up here. Here's one right here. And this one was already here on the property, right, David? Yes, this tree is an older tree. It was here when we bought the property. Well, that we're going to do. And this is the second year that I've got. Um, some good fruit avocados off of it after, you know leg on its side like this it's I think it's stressed it stressed it out so the avocados like I got to start making more fruit to survive but we'll do a lot of cuttings from this one do um do grafting right so you can make more of this one in case this one does wither out but I have a feeling it's gonna keep going for a while I, I think it will how long it's anybody's guess but uh... I think it's the, just the biggest a, problem is the virus that's coming through. That's what know? I'm worried about. That's, that's what I'm concerned about too. Is uh, having having avocados dying left and right around here. And then you, you have something that's really tasty in the morning to eat. Yeah. Uh, a good old avocado with your mm -hmm. breakfast or lunch. But having a few of them throughout your property will definitely maybe spare a few of them. I'd uh, hate for this one. I haven't seen one so big and so like a perfect commercial size. Mm -hmm. You don't see them too much like this. Use the well, odd got, shape. Yeah, I've got uh, three more in the back that is a commercial. So, you know, they're about this size, smooth skin, and just wonderful flavor. 
but you can't go wrong with a, a good homegrown avocado. And then behind you, you have a, uh, you planted this yes. guava, of what was like, what's this, five years old, six? About, yeah, about five, six years old. And just look at the trunk of it. And you were saying that uh, when the went, seeds... Yeah, this went over in the storm, too. And if you can see, it's still leaning. Oh, wow. And, and it's balanced itself back out. Yeah. And the fruit is really sweet on it. And then, oh, here's some right here. And David was saying when the seeds, when the fruit falls and the seeds sprout, they actually have made more fruit that tastes pretty good from these trees. Oh, well, here's another one back here. Is that one from seed two? Yes. Yeah, and that one, seed, that one made that some good fruit. And the one in front of it over there makes good one. from seed two? Yes. Wow. This one too actually had a few fruit on it as well. This is a perfect food source for bananas. They love the nitrogen. Mm -hmm. The compost. These are yams that I actually bought them from. Uh, oh, I didn't know you had some yams. Yeah, right here. Ah, that's the ones one that get here, large. Here and they're either white uh, or yellow name. Oh, so so how big would the the roots get? The, um, if you were to leave them for I years, could they get they really were large? About this long, and I like quartered them and just planted in the ground. I kind of gave up on them, and then I came out here one day and, and look at them. They're out there growing. There's yeah, one. Yeah. That would be nice to have it grow up the banana. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to keep it off the banana? Looks I'm like sorry? it was. Do you want to keep it off the banana? It, it really doesn't matter uh, to me. I meant, um, you know, whether it goes up the fence or up up the banana. Uh, you know. And the good thing is when you do dig them up, you can leave a few back in the ground. Right, right. And then you'll have a lot to eat off of. Because I've seen some people wait years and they'll be like, like hundreds of pounds. Yeah, that, that's what uh, I've seen on a lot of these. Um, you probably saw YouTube. one on, do you ever watch Pete Green Dreams? Yes. The yes, recent one yeah. where they went out in the woods I, I, and they, they were digging with uh, this other popular YouTuber that's in Orlando mm -hmm. that grows everything without eating i can't think of his name right now I, I can't rob either. i think rob yeah rob yeah he he was the one that did the um uh, eating uh, off of everything he grew that's what that's what yeah, it was I can't, I can't think of his name. well your bananas are doing super well and they're loving the the horse dung mixture with the wood mm -hmm. and look how green the leaves are yeah they're happy and then producing some really tasty here's, bananas. Here's uh, David's large strawberry tree. Is this one of the biggest ones you have on the property? Uh, no, I had one larger, which you'll be able to see the trunk over there. It fell over during the storm, but uh, it was so top heavy, I had to take quite a bit off the it. top, you know, to set it back up. Is it right. still alive? It came out of, with a nice amount of growth, but then all of a sudden it just kind of started losing it, like it's dying. Yeah, there's just a lot of stress on it. Here's a little fruit. You can see it looks like a, and it tastes like a strawberry. It tastes like a strawberry and something else in it. Looks like it's growing from the root. Yeah, that's the biggest problem with these. It, it sends roots all over the place and they will come up and, and they'll also, usually places you don't want them. But right. So they, these they come out of the ground fairly easy. You can cut them out. It's, uh, and they do, they seem to transplant really well. Is yes. that what you did? Yeah. Well, one of these days I'll have to get one from you and tr trade with you. Okay. Cause I would love to try to grow this um, somewhere on like a on one of the warmer parts of the property by a mm -hmm. wall, or I'll cover it. Now we're gonna try one of the fruits again. I didn't the film didn't go through. Say so it tastes like strawberry, but we just can't pinpoint the the other flavor in it. Is the strawberry tree? There's a little honeybee pollinating. So David, what was the other name for the strawberry tree? Mantinja. 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 I like that. And then this is the second biggest one on your property. So here's the main one right here. Yeah, I'll try and dig some of these up and get them potted for you. That'd, that'd be of perfect. These as well. I'll have my other plants ready for you. So. Hopefully by then I'll have them uh, Seminole pumpkins growing. Yeah, I just can't get yeah, them how big it gets. Yeah, you've, you've been growing yours yeah, been for a while. For a couple of years, yeah. It's a beautiful tree, though. Here's a black sapote. This one has hundreds of fruits on it. That's a perfect size ladder. Nice. 
Hey, you'll have to hose your shoes off. <laughs> yeah, all that, all that fruit on the ground. I'm trying to be careful. Yeah. How's that one, Phil? I, I'm gonna pick that. I mean, they're rock hard, but the, the color is what the... What you're looking for. It'll soften up in a few days or I a week. I think they will. They didn't, they came off fairly easy, too. Like, it's oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> This one is a little tougher. The other one is thick. This would be perfect enough. <laughs> 